Andrew, and I'm a teacher in a school in the West. I teach physics, and I'm married to my wife, and uh, she's also part of the three men team in Khan's Vintage Camps. Uh, I'm Benjamin, and I teach in a local university in Western Australia. I'm actually an exercise physiologist, and basically um, my major is in sports science, so that's what we do. So you have to start with him. It's all yeah. really like it started with him. Uh, it started because of my wife. Uh, the idea was to propose to her with using Polaroid film, right? So that would be mm -hmm. one of the highlights. Uh, we were hoping that after proposal, we take one Polaroid shot, and each year after that, we will keep taking Polaroid shots and compile the entire shots together. But it was really expensive, so <laughs> so, <laughs> so that, that didn't work out too well. Yeah. Um, I think that was the thing that triggered this love for vintage cameras. Yeah. Um, so after the proposal was done, when we were planning for our, our wedding theme, we wanted to do vintage as well. So that's basically where Hideki came in. Yeah, so I think um, at that point in time, Andrew was thinking that well, you know, there's uh, quite a high demand for vintage cameras and you know, we can't actually find them at a very cheap price or at an affordable rate and most of them you actually find them in those really expensive shops. So we are saying, God, what do you actually think about, you know, why don't we sell our cameras? Because we don't actually need it anymore, we have really enjoyed them, uh, but if other people can enjoy it at an affordable price, why don't we just sell what we have? We work quite well together, I mean, my brother and I are really, really close, and my sister-in-law, I've known her like for the longest time already, so we are pretty much like family. So we don't have, I mean, okay, sometimes yeah, we, now, we, so we, we argue a little bit, <laughs> like, no, we must sell this now, or we cannot sell this now. I've got no time, I've got no time, no, no, we have to do it. Uh, but <laughs> other than that, not really a lot of interesting things happening on the man managing side. When we sell the cameras, uh, we do take uh, a, a fair amount of time to research the cameras as much as we can. Uh, I mean, it's more than just the camera pedia, web pages, but to go deeper, look at forum pages, see where this came from, see the stories behind it, like the certain movie stars that like these cameras, a certain genre that use a certain camera. Carousel has been the integral part of our lives. I mean, the whole thing behind scrolling endlessly is pretty much like a shopping experience that you don't really have. I mean, if you try Create List and you try Gumtree, you really have to have a dedicated search to know what you want. But there you can browse and find, you always have this feeling that maybe you'll find the special thing that I want. Yeah, I think we're spending more money than we should actually. <laughs> oh, no. I think the first one is to be really honest about your product. Yeah. Um, I think you don't falsely advertise because if you get one really bad review, then that's basically mm. you're pretty much stuffed like for the rest of your, I don't know, for, for so called your business or what you're trying to sell. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think Carousel requires a lot of trust. So I think mm -hmm. the reviews are a very really important part of the, the whole selling experience as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, be honest. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, then you know, we just see it as it is. Um, I mean, don't do. If, if it's not an iPhone 6, you, know, you don't tag it as iPhone 6. Right? Yeah, you don't have like, those are spam tags and stuff yeah. like that. It annoys people. Yeah. And I think another thing that's quite important is also communication as well. Like, you know, take some time to be, I guess, you know, a little bit of kindness goes a long way. So if you're kind in the way that you reply, you don't just say yes, no, mm, what do you want, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> I, I think it basically is more like a service that you can provide for others. I mean, it might be a small business for yourself. But I think it's a starting point. I think human touch is important. Yeah.